Hi everyone, it's Amanda from Bellevue Oils. Um, you're not seeing Sarah because she's holding the camera, so she's waving at you. Just know that that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, so today we wanted to talk about using um, different tools in your capacity in your oil box and in other areas just to help fend off anything like um, a cold coming on or fever. So here on the Sunshine Coast, we have had um, intense weather, whether it be really hot and then suddenly very rainy and cold, but um, also rainy and hot. So aircon is on, aircon is off. And it's really at those stages where a cold or a fever can really slip into your body without you knowing it. So the first thing I do is obviously learning from my Eastern um, background is that I take a scarf wherever I go and I wrap it around my neck because that is where the back of the neck is the most susceptible for a cold to come in. Um, and even as I feel I might have a sore throat or something like that, I'm always keeping that area warm. The other thing is I'm always going to be hydrating myself because I need to make sure that the water levels are kept good and really minimizing things like tea or coffee or especially any milky things, whether they dairy or just, you know, your coconut or your almond milk. Those things are really important to minimize so that your body's got the best chance of healing. So I'm going to have a quick sip. Mm. All right, the next thing I invest in is a pair of socks. Why? Well, one, I need to keep my feet warm because, again, another area that the cold can come into the body is particularly around the ankles. So we want to make sure that they're going to kept, be kept warm. But there's another reason we're going to use the socks. So let's talk about what oils are going to support me during this phase of me feeling a little bit under the weather. So the first thing that I have in my arsenal, which of course all of these oils come from our Home Essentials kit. The first one is our On Guard. So this is our immunity blend, our protective blend, and it has warming spices in it. So it's got the wild orange, the cinnamon, the clove, all those kind of things inside. So one just to smell it, of course, is fantastic. But if you're getting a sore throat, you can just drop a um, a bit of fractionated coconut oil and then just rub that onto your throat. You could put it in your water and stir it around and then drink that. But what I have going at the same time right now is the diffuser downstairs in the living room and upstairs in the bedroom are both diffusing on guard. So just making sure that any impurities in the air are being taken care of. Um, the next one, particularly if you've got the symptoms of a cold coming on, is to use oregano. So oregano is an incredibly hot oil. So what it's going to do is if you've got those cold symptoms of like shivering and shaking, it's going to warm your body up. And the area we're going to use that in is going to be on your feet. Again, I'm going to do a demonstration of how I use it on the feet as well. If you've got a fever, sometimes using the, on, the um, oregano is actually going to increase that fever and increase the sweating, which if you're someone who likes to sweat it out, then that's going to be okay, but you might find perhaps that it might be too warm. If that's the case for you, then just go back to using On Guard. The third oil that I then use is my Easy Air. So um, I've got all Peggy's hair on me right now. <laughs> so the Easy Air is for our respiratory blend. So that's going to take care of all things nasally, sinusy, um, blocked nose, just the beginning of a headache perhaps that's coming on. Um, and why I like to show you this is the Easy Air Roll-On is fantastic for on the go. So sometimes you might not have your fractionated coconut um, oil with you, but this just pop it off is already pre-diluted and you're going to put it on areas. For example, um, you can put it just under the nose line so you're inhaling that on a consistent basis. I like to swipe it at the back of my neck, so just feeling that it can enter my system there. But the best place for me to put easy air is to put it on the lung meridian. So I use this point, which is right here at the crease of where my arm is meeting the rib cage. And you'll feel it. It's like a little dent in there. It's right between the first and the second rib. And I just roll it on the pulse point there and there. And then it's going to directly affect my lung meridian, which is, of course, going to help with my breathing and my respiratory. So that's what I do for that. So let's show you just a quick example of how to put the oils onto your feet. So we take a little bit of fractionated coconut oil and you can use a blend of all of these or you can do them one at a time or you can do, 
just choose whatever works for you. So we put just a few drops of coconut oil into the hand and I'm going to use On Guard on my feet just to keep my immune system balanced and up. And I'm putting one, two, three drops of my um, On Guard. Just swish it together. And then here we go, one on the sole of my foot. Put my sock on to keep it on and not to um, get into the flooring or onto the furniture. And then there's the other one. So now I have a little bit of excess oil on my hand and of course dogs running around because they make the best companions when you're feeling sick or tired and then I'm just going to rub it here on my throat which is what is feeling a little bit nasty for me at the moment and then I can even just rub it here onto my chest just getting all that area that's feeling a little bit you know not so great anyway I hope that helps you in anything that comes up for you. Remember, as our seasons are beginning to change, these threats are going to be coming in. <laughs> I love it because other people show videos, of course, of their children coming in and asking for attention. Well, these are our children, Peggy, and, oh, who always swipes things away. <laughs> and they're into a play mode at the moment. Sorry. So when, you, when we're coming into this new change of season, just be mindful of what it is that you're doing um, and how you can support yourself with these simple oils that, as I mentioned, are in your home essentials pack. So maybe you want to drop us a line or a comment below and just um, maybe tell us how you like to support your body during your seasonal threat time um, or what are the funky little tips that you use when you're um, trying to make yourself feel better. I think that's all we've got for today. So Sarah's going to say bye-bye. Bye. Bye. And uh, we'll catch up with you soon.